Once, Mulla Nasruddin found himself wandering through a dense forest when he stumbled upon a skull. Fueled by his innate curiosity, he couldn't resist engaging in a conversation with the skull. He asked, What brought you here, sir? To his astonishment, the skull replied, Talking brought me here, sir. Intrigued by this remarkable encounter, Nasruddin rushed to the king's court, eager to share his miraculous discovery. He exclaimed, I have witnessed a marvel. A talking skull lies in the forest near our village. The skeptical king, driven by curiosity, decided to investigate the matter. Accompanied by his entire court, they ventured into the forest. Nasruddin approached the skull once more and repeated his question, What brought you here, sir? However, this time, the skull remained ominously silent. No matter how persistently Nasruddin asked, it refused to utter a single word. Frustrated and feeling deceived, the king accused Nasruddin of falsehood. Convinced of his dishonesty, the king ordered his guards to execute Nasruddin, severing his head and leaving it near the silent skull as food for the ants. After everyone had departed, the king, his court, and the guards, the extraordinary happened. The skull resumed speaking and inquired, what brought you here, sir? Nasruddin, now devoid of a physical body but liberated from the mind's incessant chatter, replied, Talking brought me here, sir. This tale poignantly reveals that humanity finds itself in its present predicament due to the constant chatter of the mind. The incessant noise of our thoughts hinders true happiness and prevents us from accessing the profound silence within. Only a mind free from the clutches of incessant chatter can perceive the serenity and boundless joy that reside deep within our being. May this story serve as a reminder to cultivate moments of silence, to quiet the restless mind, and to delve into the tranquility that dwells within us all. In the embrace of silence, we can uncover a profound happiness, allowing it to bubble and flourish in our lives.